Right, 72 as a product of its prime factors. Well, product means multiply, and prime factors means prime numbers. So we do what I call a factor tree, a prime factor tree, by using these branches. And we need a prime number that goes into 72. Well, 2 is a prime number, so it's 3, so it's 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. These are the prime numbers. So I just want to deal with prime numbers. It's an even number, so 2 36s. That's still an even number, and that's 2 18s. Still an even number, so that's 2 9s. And 9 is 3 threes. So a prime factor tree is to start with the number and to split it into its prime numbers so that the end of each branch is a prime number. That means to say that 72 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 which you can write as 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 2. OK, let's do 270 as a product of its prime factors. So it's an even number, so I've got 2 multiplied by 135. Well, that's not a prime number, but it ends in a 5, so 5 must go into it. Now, this is a calculator paper. So again, if you're stuck, you can use the calculator to help you. But I hope you're happy without a calculator, because this question could just as easily be on your non-calculator paper. 527s are 135. Now 27, well 3 goes into 27, 3 9s are 27, and 3 3s are 9. So I've now got 270 is 2 times 5, times 3, times 3, times 3. Well, we might as well put the numbers in an order of 2 times 3, times 3, times 5. So 270 is 2 times 3, times 3, times 3, times 5. Or in the shorthand version, like that. OK. So that's the end of that part mark as we go along, if I can remember. A mark for the factor tree, a mark for the answer. Doesn't matter which one, you'll still get your mark. Mark for the factor tree, mark for your answer. So that's writing a number as a product of primes. But the question continues, and you need these two answers for the next part of the question. So I've reproduced the answers on this sheet. 72 as a product of its prime factors, 270 as a product of its prime factors. We've got to find the highest common factor, highest common factor, or HCF, highest common factor. A factor is a number that goes into another one. So 72, a 2 is a factor of 72, 3 is a factor of 72, and if you multiply any of these out, 9, 3 threes are 9, 9 is a factor of 72. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 8 is a factor of 72. We want the highest common factor. So we're looking for a number that will go into 72, will also go into 270, and is the highest number. Now looking at the, high, the actual product of primes, if we notice that there are two threes here and there are two threes here there are three twos there but only one there so what I've underlined is what's common to both lists in this list the way there may well be three twos but common is a two there a two there three times three three times three we call those the common factors. 
Therefore, if we multiply those numbers out, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 6 is 18, that gives us the highest common factor for the two numbers 72 and 270. Multiples is your tables. So the multiples of 72 are 72 and whatever 272s are, whatever 372s are, whatever 472s are, and the 72 times table. The multiples of 270 is your 270 times table. I'm not very good at that one. 1 270 is 270. 2 270s are 540. 3 270s are a big number. 4 270s are even a bigger number. But what we're looking for is a lowest common multiple. In other words, a number that is in the 72 times table and also is in the 270 times table. And we're looking for the lowest number that is in both tables. Okay, so if a number is going to be in the 72 times table, part of the number must be 72. If a number is going to be in the 270 times table, then it must be 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5, must be part of the number. Now looking at this, I've already got 2, I've already got 3 times 3, but I'm going to need 3 times 3 times 3, and I'm also going to need 5. In other words, when I multiply this number out, 72 will divide into that number because there is my 72 and 270 will divide into this number because there is my 270 so if you multiply this out and you have got a calculator to do it on you actually find it comes to this so 72 will divide into that 270 will divide into that. That is the lowest number that both 72 and 270 divide into. Therefore it is the lowest common multiple, LCM. It's just a little manipulation of numbers and I hope you're okay with that. If not, spin it back and watch me work through it again. Right, what marks is the Well, there's only one for the highest common factor but two marks for the lowest common multiple, so one for the answer and one for you working out how you arrived at it. That was question 13.